OK, well, I'm joined now by uh, one of the representative players from South Yarra. By day, he's the Clark Kent of the Southern Footy League here at the Southern Footy League offices. Football manager David Canizzo. By weekend, he is the super fullback, able to destroy attacks with a single punch. Welcome to the show. Thanks, mate. Don't know about all of that, but yeah, thanks. <laughs> Stepping out from the other side of the camera, a bit different for you today. It is a bit. Now, um, I just want to go, go through you. You're a pivotal part of the defensive structure down at South Yarra, mm. and uh, last year you missed the, the grandeur and the celebrations um, with the shoulder injury, mm. and, and this year went through a, another injured period with your knee. Yeah. You're back now, hungry, motivated. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. When you spend about, well, last year I only missed the one game, but it was the most important one, and this year I missed probably, I think, five games of football. And I was out of the seniors for about six weeks, so that was yeah extremely frustrating. It's pretty slow. The first couple of weeks you can't do much, and you just got to do the you know the little the little silly exercises that don't seem like they're doing much. But you do it and you do it right, and then you come back. So it was frustrating. Uh, a lot of soul searching, but you just want to make sure that you get yourself right and be in that contention for selection when it comes to finals. And um, you know, so far, touch wood, we've um, we've timed it well this year. So come home and towards the end of the year, played some reasonable football to show that, yeah, I want to be part of that senior side for finals. Well, uh, it is a very settled unit you've got down there at South Yarra. A little bit of a downer last week, weren't quite able to uh, to get through the um, headed and sort of wall that they put up across midfield. Um, what did you learn from Saturday coming out of that? Yeah, look, it was interesting. I mean, yeah, I suppose the benefit of my position is you can see the whole ground in front of you and you can... Uh, yeah, really weigh up where we're going well and where we're not. I thought the contested ball seemed very even throughout the day to me. I thought, you know, um, ball ups, throw-ins, all of that, that was, um, it was going 50-50 each way. Where it probably was obvious that they were beating us was when they were they had smart players sitting out outside the contest and streaming forward. And, you know, as you sit there, we kind of find your full forward and you see them streaming towards you and you're going, OK, now we're in trouble here, we need a little bit more defensive pressure and we need a few players to be smart and sit out with those because they're dangerous players and you know obviously you've got the likes of Skinner that just break open and they'll just tap the ball on and then they'll just run through and, and they're away. just real strong core strength and he holds his weight and yeah he'll keep staying on his feet and yeah they'll hurt you if you don't, you don't stay with them. Well we saw you have the ability to do that down at the Arrows, mm -hmm. uh, it was a big win two weeks ago when you were the side able to break the lines. Um, strong winners over Oakley Districts. And then your opponents again this week, uh, they're obviously a better side than what they put up two weeks ago. Yeah, absolutely. And we all know that. It, you know, you speak to their players and you speak to the coaching staff afterwards and it's like any week. Some weeks things work and they come off and some weeks they don't. So they'll, they will come in with, you know, different plans this time, as probably we will. I'm sure our coaching staff have already looked at that. But, yeah, we'll be ready for them again and we have to be because we want to give ourselves another opportunity to have a go at Everton again. Absolutely, and uh, having won the Premiership in Division 3 uh, and coming up stepping up in finals, uh, we wish you all the best for, for this week and, uh, and going Thanks. forward for the rest of the year. Appreciate that. As usual, we wouldn't be able to let you go without a couple of uh, little parting That's shots. Good. Now, uh, clubs relegated, uh, Cl Clayton's coming down. Mm -hmm. Do you see them uh, as a potential finalist in 2010? It's interesting you asked that. I was actually speaking to um, Greg Collins, president of Clayton today, about exactly that. and. Um, we both agree that they're probably only a couple of players away from being an absolute powerhouse side of Division 2, mm -hmm. I think, because I think they've kept um, a very even list. They've lost, obviously, the key known players that we knew about at the start of the year, but the rest of the list is extremely even. So they'll be thereabouts? I reckon they'll come down and they'll pick up the couple that they want without having to spend probably big dollars because they're starting to build the, um, the junior infrastructure well. Mm -hmm. So they do that and they'll come home strong. So. Um, they will be they will be an extremely good side next year, and I reckon probably one at most two years down there, they'll be back up in Division One. Well, look out, the Clays are coming. Mm -hmm. uh, the footy manager of the Southern Footy League, Tiger Woods is coming to Australia to play golf. Will you be going to see him? Um, no, I won't be. Um, I'm not a big golf fan. I have played, and I'm pretty hopeless at it, to be honest. I don't mind playing. It's just you know, it's a good chance to get out and get a bit of exercise, but um, I wouldn't see him. Look, he's a fantastic player, and you know, sometimes you know, you get home, something on, so you. Jump on the foxtail and watch it, but yeah, don't have a huge interest in golf, so I probably wouldn't. This isn't the uh, most delving question. You being a Geelong supporter myself, <laughs> can, can anyone uh, can anyone beat us to uh, play off in the grand final, or will it be yeah, Geelong so St Kilda? Um, look, I, I don't think on the St Kilda side of the draw, I'd say definitely no. I don't think so, but on the uh, Geelong side, I reckon 
um, not Collingwood, but maybe Adelaide. They could, they could, they look good. So you, you don't know. The last time Geelong played them, they only lost by uh, Adelaide lost by I think within a couple of goals. So well, maybe even been under a goal. So yeah, I reckon Adelaide are a real smoky. I mean, yeah, if they finished in the top four, they probably would have won it. But because they got there, yeah, yeah. there is. Look out for them on that Saturday afternoon down at Clayton against Oakley Districts. Mark Nussbaum's coming up next. Well, we've heard from uh, the insider here at Southern Footy League uh, headquarters from South Yarra. Now it's time for Oakley Districts to have their say in uh, this week's preliminary final in Division 2, which you'll be able to catch on 88.3 Southern FM live from 2pm. The captain, Mark Nussbaum, has uh, been kind enough to join us. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. No problem. Now, you played uh, South Yarra in the final a couple of weeks ago, and it was quite a disappointing effort. But you rebounded very well on the weekend against Murrumbana. Yeah, look, South Yarra certainly came out a couple of weeks ago and gave us a bit of a finals lesson, no question about that. Um, mindset was obviously to, to bounce back pretty quickly against Brown Bader. Uh, we're happy to do that and uh, obviously have another crack at South Yarra. Now, um, it's fantastic that you've got both sides in the, in the finals. Um, obviously, it's both the opportunity at this stage of going into the, uh, the big dance. You haven't won a senior flag since 1958. Is that something the players on the club's mind, or um, probably not the players' minds? Yeah. Uh, not these players' minds, but uh, certainly the people around the club um, have brought it to our attention. Um, you know, they, we've got a lot of long-term volunteers and supporters at the club that uh, you know, fantastic stalwarts. Um, so yeah, they they sort of drop it in now and then. I think the players at the moment. Uh, more focused on you know creating something for themselves, mm -hmm. um, and this group's you know, pretty intent on trying to do that. So fantastic. Cool. Obviously, with the with the rebound on the weekend against Murrumbani, you came from behind at three quarter time. What was the difference uh, from one week to the other? Was it was it a mindset? Was it a, a structural change? What what turned it around? Yeah, look, it was it was probably um, it was a little bit of both actually. Um, certainly, the mindset was was uh, a lot greater. Um, you know, when you have a stinging loss to a good club like South Yarra, you need to, you know, take your medicine and move on. So the mindset was focused all week. Uh, we had some very, very tough training sessions during the week to, uh, you know, rectify that. Um, you know, the mindset of the possibility of not being uh, in a prelim final and, and being out was a uh, pretty harrowing thought for us. So we, uh, we wanted to make amends. You've got a, a lot of young kids, uh, obviously they've been guys like yourself, uh, Matt Featherston, they've been around for a while and, and, and leading. You've got a lot of young guys that have stepped up and done that this year. The Dan Keller ups and Nathan Rule, Jared Layton, they've been in super form for you. Look, absolutely. Um, you know, you're always going to get uh, a good contribution out of the older guys because um, they're good people and good clubmen. Um, the young guys are fantastic. I mean, they really have injected a lot of positive life into the place. Um, those guys you mentioned are also very high quality footballers, which also helps. Um, and you know, it's, it's, it's led to a lot of enthusiasm. Um, and I suppose old guys like myself and Matt have uh, wanted to keep kicking around because of them. So, yeah, you know, they're good footballers and good people. No worries. And uh, the, the player I think is probably going to be the key to Oakley Districts going forward. No, no, no. Pitsy in the rough is a, <laughs> is a good place to start for you, isn't he? Look, he is, and again, you know, uh, Grant's uh, battled a lot of injuries over the last few years. Um, came back midway through this year, has been fantastic for, for the group. Um, he's got a lot of experience, he's a good person, and um, yeah, he'll have a big say. Sure will, and uh, look, we wish you all the best in, in uh, the preliminary final this week. Hopefully, you can go one better than you did a fortnight ago against the Arrows, because mm -hmm. uh, I think you can take on Heather in the big show. I think you really have got the game to take it to them. We wouldn't be able to let you go though without a few parting shots. <laughs> no worries. Now, um, one club that's going to come down in Division 2 uh, are Clayton. Uh, they've been a powerhouse in the league. Do you see them playing finals in Division 2 next year? Look, certainly if they can uh, get their structure right, get it um, off the ground level, and get their coaches and, and players back around the place. Clayton's a great club. I've played it myself um, in the past, and yeah, I'd like to see them do well. Okay. Away from footy, uh, Tiger Woods is coming to play major golf out here in Australia. <laughs> Will you be going to have a look at Kingston Heath? I, I'm not actually, unless you've got some tickets for me, guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to. He's, uh, he'd be a fair like to see you at a golf ball. No worries. And uh, before a big game, what's uh, your preferred meal as a player? Uh, definitely a pasta meal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> later. up on the pasta on Friday night, absolutely. No problem. Martin Nussbaum, thanks very much for coming in and joining us. We wish you and your same all the very best in the prelim preliminary final. That's the what it is. The one before. <laughs>